I caught the ball! Dad, I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda! I faced my fears! I defeated the softball! I could do anything! Yay! Hello everybody, Diz Don here, and well, I'm getting to the end of this recording section and the end of the first dates, and I got one guy left to date for the first time, and he is Craig. And boy, am I gonna get boned trying to fucking hang with Craig. Craig is too cool for me. But I'm gonna do it. This has been this is Diz Don playing Dream Daddy. Oh, Daddy, Daddy Craig. Make me hurt in the gym, please. Drink a full glass of water in the morning to help wake up. Be generous and kind to everyone. I wonder what Craig's up to today. Let's see here. Probably fucking jogging. Navigate to his dad book page. Type a message. Hey, bro. Or should I say, neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments later, ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. Craig, that's quick. Bro, my man, definitely should hang out soon. Maybe maybe a little different from our old weekend long benders, but still be fun. Rock on, dude. Think for a moment, this could be a fun opportunity to see my old bunny in his new element. Exchange a couple more messages and logs off for prep for the game. Should see if Amanda wants to join me. Walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. The Amanda Panda! Open the door, Amanda is sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. What you working on? Just a collage of class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. Take a closer look at your collage. It's a lot of dogs. It's mostly dogs, yeah. You need some? Craig invited us to a softball game. Oh, go. no. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to my first game and then someone hit a ball toward me and I just ran off the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream to it if I tried to pick you up? <sighs> yes. I was afraid of baseballs. That they were gigantic. You were a gigantic sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? The man who gets up looks me dead in the eye. Dad. Determined. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. All right. Amanda and I make a sh make the short drive out to the local softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers, take our seats at the top row. Don't see Craig anywhere. Aww. So when do the kids start crying and running off the field? You know that our relationship, your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be disappointed. <sighs> For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. <laughs> Definitely not that. Oh, you're just as evil as your father. Game starts, the kids run out of the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He's rubber strapped to his chest as per usual. The guy in pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. Guess that's the mascot. Reading kids brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks! Oh, man. Choke up on the bat, Miranda. Hmm. Yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? I'd have to know what the ball that the balls are relatively hard despite their hmm. name. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. <laughs> and also eye on the bat! <laughs> And the outfield! And the other players! <laughs> Just keep your eye on all that stuff simultaneously! <laughs> yeah. Nice! Watched a couple injuries in softball. Aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but Craig's trained them, his team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Keg Stan Craig is good with children. Whoa! Huh? It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let it go, let it go. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out to center field. A tiny little girl tries to get out to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits Whoa. her straight in the forehead. See? Completely justifiable fear. The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. 
Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her till her parents arrive. Carries her off the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this is the guy who once black backflipped off a roof into a pool while shotgunning up here. He's so responsible now. Wait. Backflipped off a roof into a pool while shotgunning up here. Holy fuck. Keg Stan Craig is the shit. Game resumes after the girl calms down a bit, and we catch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. Ocelots seem to be given up by this point. I, don't, I see one outfielder eating a fistful of grass. <laughs> Better on the other team knocks fall ball into stands. I follow trajectory, and oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. I open my eyes and look over to see a man holding softball, staring at it in amazement. Whoa. I caught the ball. You saved me. Oh, Amanda, you saved your father. I caught the ball. Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Yay! Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. <laughs> Game ends. Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job, everyone. Walk over to the dugout, congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the other parents. Craig, hey, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello. Hey, Killer playing out there. Hmm? Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? <laughs> Hazel. Yeah, it's me. Good looking out. Do you guys ever pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing it constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests. I usually throw rocks at stuff when people get mad. And when people get mad, I tell them I'm Briar. What? Nice. We, uh, we'll talk about this later. There's Don, bro. Like, I just got a couple more things to clean up, then we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps up into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get know. pizza. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would could we have without our fearless leader? Lays her hands on his shoulder and gives him a goo, goo guys. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Man, and I share a look. All right, all right. If it's cool, is it cool if my bra comes along? Mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Huh. Of course. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? Huh. What? What? It's a real place. Yeah, it's Thirsty's. Endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a mani van and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Man and I trail behind them with Craig. Reminds me of all the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Remember how we used to fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Uh, pizza tacos. I can never forget. How did we survive college? How did I survive college? I ate ramen and had a psychotic breakdown. How did I survive college? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Our bodies were younger back then. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. Good old days. Yeah. Pat the dad bod. Pat the stomach. Kids run around playing arcade games and eating... Playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre oh. pizza. Hey, give me a piss Whoa. of that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like, I'm strictly eating salad here. Thanks for addressing the issue, mm -hmm. Amanda. Dad. A different mom walks up to us, taking, talking to Craig as if we weren't there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day how great you are. Happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own. It's been so hard since Daniel left. Glad to know that my children have a strong male role model in their lives. Man and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. 
Thank you so much, dude. Holds his fist up for a fist bump with mom, what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw him a bone here. Create a diversion. Tag team with Amanda. Smoke screen Martha. Create a diversion. Pull out the first thing that comes to mind. Who watched Long Haul? Who watched Long Haul Paranormal Astro Ghost Truckers last night? What? Calvin Flint Dogbone visited a truck stop that was also a cemetery and led, a, led an exorcism of a ghost that was haunting the hot dog grill. I nudge Amanda for hey. support. There was also a demon hunting one of the bathroom stalls, and I kept throwing and it kept throwing poop on the wall. It's pretty scary stuff. Mm -hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a good chance there's a non-paranormal explanation for that, but still, quality television. I haven't hmm. seen that. I haven't seen that either. Wow, we have so much in common. Damn. She turns her back to, on me to talk to Craig. So I'm thinking, so I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for oh. a sleepover? Yup, they're pretty excited about it. You keep them out of trouble, right? Well, of course, but I could always use help watch, watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this lady's really going oh. for the gold. Ha, <laughs> it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself on the river, but thanks for the invite. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. <laughs> Martha angrily turns her attention toward her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear if we have to buy it. Martha stores off toward her kid. She seems nice. Yeah, the team is one big weird family. It takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the token. <laughs> Tiffany, don't eat the tokens. Word of advice for children. Don't eat fucking arcade tokens. Mm -hmm. Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Obviously, she's taken a few too, the, a few too many to the head. <laughs> Phew, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Man, you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today, I hope. Dad. Hmm. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on dance mat. Please Hi. help. Girls, you don't know I have my jokes anymore. But, Dad... Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Sorry, dudes. Dirty calls. Promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. Craig's off, runs off with his daughters, and I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged off in every direction. Definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. There's worse places in an arcade to be left to our own devices. You're right. Want to drop some coin in the pinball? You know it. And I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. Pull out a decent score and then channel in Shamanda to top mine. And immediately she gets a multiball. Looks like she takes after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in her zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score, but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah, we went to college together. Please don't lean on my thing. Huh? That's so interesting. So, do you know if he's, like, available? I honestly don't know huh? if I can say. Seriously, you can make it tell... Because it's just, it seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, buzzer sounds as the game is over. Jenna made the p pinball machine tilt. Whoa! You stone harpy. Uh. What? I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. <laughs> Bra. What's going on? How's our chance? If we... If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of our night. Rang Lamanda and says quick goodbyes with Craig. Head out to Pete's place, finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Hmm. Hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, brah. Not at all, dude. It's good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Cute baby burp. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Aww. It's the cutest little spit bubbles. Oh, yes. Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of the car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Offer some cotch? 
This might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. Stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car I can grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, father is strange. You're telling me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. Good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal keg stand. I was afraid of discipline, bro. Trust me. Haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. Ask about the business. So you run a business hey. now? Yeah, we sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure. Athleisure wire soon. I nod. Mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like I'd make a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, I got your back. You'd sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. That's the glamorous lifestyle we're heading to, yes. <laughs> so, is softball coach the life you wanted, or is that the life that was thrust upon you? <laughs> I'll admit I was hesitant at first, but Briar and, ha Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports. But no one was there to run the team. The more I did, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit. <laughs> I would also be afraid if a bunch of tiny children were metal bats. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. <laughs> they take you down like a pack of lost raptors on a T-Rex. Great Jurassic Park reference there. Exactly. Can't believe you're father of three. Neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life, but raising kids when Briar and Hazel were born, it all finally makes sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to him. Led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. It should be the only thing that ever happened to me. And I would still be proud of the life I lived. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball mom for a bit, huh? Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. I'm just so not interested. Well, what are you interested in? Oh. Pace and quiet. That's hot, hot silence. Nice. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. That is also a fantasy of mine that I do not get to do because I do laundry on Saturdays. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's no time. I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. Buddy, oh. I hear you. So, the moms can hit me, at, hit on me all they want. The girls are my pro top priority. The right person will come along. You don't have to rush it, man. Things will fall into place for you. And someday, you're going to find someone who cares about your kids just as much as they care about you. Brah, that's so sweet. While I'm distracted, I miss the softball and it hits me right on the fucking head. Wow, that hurts. And it was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining oh. my head. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss hey. it to make it better. You would be so lucky. I mean, I feel like I've earned it at this point, waiting all day to hang out with you. <laughs> wow. Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. The baby looks disgusted, just like, I'm bored now. Walk it off, champ. <laughs> Have the lights on the soft... Are the lights on the softball field really hot, or is it just me? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, daddy. Oh, Craig. Oh, damn, you're so muscly. I get up and dust myself off. River yawns. Hey, little buddy. You must be getting tired, eh? Mm-hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by a helicopter? 
How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get all the way. But the other side of the fence was a parking lot with a bunch of cops were parked. Oh man, yeah. Do you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. <laughs> and not knowing that we were at a party, they just started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested in joining hey. the academy. And then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man, college. <laughs> Good old days, right? Get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug, or at least as much as we can manage with the baby before between us. Yeah, I think the most I ever did was got drunk on vodka and played Mario 3 while the room span. Mm -hmm. Spun. Never enough time, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess not. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I'd like that. I yawned as I walked through the door, spotting Mondo hunched over and her collage glue stick in hand. Burning the midnight art oil? Figured I might do some pro something productive between episodes of Shark hum Hunter Link. Shark Hunter Lip Sync Battles. All these fucking titles are so long! Ugh. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Huh. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. <laughs> Sorry, just the yes answer. It's just like. Do the sharks lip sync or the shark hunters? Just yes. Okay. <laughs> Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash, in the other it's... Amanda, is that me? Yep, the whole thing's about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's uh -huh. happening. Oh, Dad. You did this with your good art. She pats me on the back. Mm. Hey, how's your hang with Craig? Wipe a tear from my eye. Mm. It was good. Craig's guy is sure mm. busy. Ah, oh, dude, softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How's it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh, yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? <laughs> Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. <laughs> alright, I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of the late night television for me, alright? I'll let them know you said hey. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, how'd I do with Craig? Awesome! I love Craig. Craig's perfect. awesome. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Diz Don playing Dream Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Dad dating simulator? Like, comment, and subscribe below. I'll catch you in the next episode. We've dated all of them once. Now it's time to go for round two, I guess. Oh, boy. It's going to be a long haul in this game. See you in the next one, everybody.